Bungoma County, in partnership with Bungoma Chemists Limited, a leading agro inputs distributor, and the Kenya Markets Trust held the first ever agro dealer led exhibition dubbed Kilimo Expo. So, what is so unique about this expo? Normally, expos are done by input firms. So, they are the ones who drive the agenda, who drive the ideas, and who drive what the expo will be all about. But here we have a distributor, somebody who is neutral, who works for all the major input suppliers, who knows the farmers also and who is very conversant with the issues within the county, trying to see how he can drive the agenda uh, through the expos, just giving farmers neutral information. So it's a means by which uh, agro dealers can be able to start speaking to their farmers differently, but at the same time input farms can come as one uh, under one umbrella and tackling issues that are very county specific. We've been doing projects, we've been doing uh, trainings, we've been doing farmer field days, we've been doing uh, a lot of uh, award and loyalty programs with our uh, stockists and our farmers. So this was just the climax to wrap it all up. The one-day event brought together over 3,500 farmers and 60 exhibitors who showcased products and services which ranged from soil testing, liming, seeds, agrochemicals, irrigation technologies, farm machinery, and even financial service providers. Basically, as KCB, we're involving finance. And uh, this year, we also want to scale it down to supporting farmers. They need to learn more. Farming is not only about uh, doing the farming down there. It's all about value addition. What do you get after the value addition part of it? So in relation to the today's function, we intend to work with farmers who are in groups, um, our cooperatives, so that we bring them together and we are able to support them in cooperatives as well as supporting individual farmers. A key highlight from this expo was the support the county government has for the farmers. They have purchased a soil testing unit, which according to Deputy Governor Hilary Chongwonyi, will go a long way to helping farmers get soil tested and advised on good agricultural practices based on findings from these tests. <laughs> I've not done soil testing on my farms. From what I've learned today, soil testing is very necessary. And uh, uh, after the results of the soil tests, uh, liming is very necessary. It helps us to provide the necessary pH levels for the different crops. Nimeleta mchanga wa test kwa sababu shamba ni moja na huwa napanda mahindi nikishapanda utapata saidi nyingine mahindi yamefanya vizuri na saidi nyingine hapana. Sasa sijajua shida ni nini kwa zimbegu huwa ni moja na mbolea nimetumia ni moja. What do other farmers make of the expo? This uh, exhibition has come at the right time especially bearing in mind that uh, Bungoma County is a farming region and this is the time when just farmers are just about to start uh, the long-term rain to do the farming. And uh, what we have been lacking, especially in the county, is the knowledge on the type of crops that are dealing with, the necessary knowledge, the inputs and so forth. So it has come the right time that farmers are now being taught exactly what to do and how to do it. I have Bungoma tukijua kwamba ni njia moja ya kujifunza mbinu nzuri ya kufanya kilimo ili tupate faida tujisaidie katika maisha yetu beyond crop farming farmers encourage diversifying to poultry farming which is prominent in western kenya in a business forum dubbed promoting production and marketing of kenyaji chicken over 50 stakeholders in the subsector participated in the forum to map a way on how they can maximize returns from the poultry value chain I think there's a lot of positive vibe because a lot of people are excited about poultry farming. When we look at our, our climate, especially, there's a lot of changes in the climate. So a lot of people are interested in other forms of uh, farming and poultry is one of those avenues that they can deal with. 
the idea came about uh, from uh, the fact that there's an established slaughterhouse in Chuele. So we were interested to take up that opportunity and encourage farmers so that we can make it a sustainable project. We have uh, the, the, the farmers uh, producing the, the chicken to the poultry house and then we have a sustainable sort of uh, industry. As the event wound down, farmers were treated to a raffle ticket draw organized by Bungoma chemists where winners received vouchers startling 50,000 Kenya shillings, which they would redeem by getting inputs from the agri-dealer. So what next after this successful expo? For me, the expo has been a success. Uh, we have uh, the farmers talking well about it, exhibitors talking well about it, and it being a first being held by an agro-dealer in the county and in the region, yeah, it's quite eye-opening for the various input farms to show that it can actually be done and it's actually an opportunity for them to tackle various issues affecting farmers. Next is to look at how this can be done, uh, an annual event, whereby we have exhibitors now coming in and doing these exhibitions on an annual basis. And also key to this is we'll also be training. Uh, farmers will also be have enhanced training through field days and farmer schools. So the Expo doesn't end all, but the Expo is, a big, is another stepping stone towards uh, farmers getting more knowledge and being more aware in terms of agro inputs as far as soil testing farming and poultry farming is concerned.